All right, so this sheet is called Factoring a Common Factor Using Area. So it gives you boxes to help you understand what numbers were multiplied together to give you the distributive property. So if we look at number one, it's already been done for you. Notice we have two times x plus six. Well, when we distribute that, that is two x plus 12, okay? So basically we said two times this x and two times this six, and it looked like this, okay? So what we're going to be doing is figuring out what goes inside here to have made this box 5x. So right here was 2x, right? Because 2 times x is 2x. 2 times 6 is what? 12. So 12 went in that box, okay? And so then in the lines underneath it, we just wrote what it would look like before we did our distributive property, right? 2 times x plus 6. And then the bottom line is we actually showed that multiplication. 2 times x is 2x, and 2 times 6 is 12. All right, let's do number 2. If 5x is inside the box, what did we multiply 5 by? X. Good. And if 20 is in the box, Alice, 4, we multiplied it by 4. Okay? So first, writing down our 5 on the outside of the parentheses, what goes on the inside of the parentheses? Jason? X plus 4. X plus 4. So down here we show our distribution, 5x plus 20. Okay? I want you to do number 3 and number 4 on your own. Okay? Notice this says 6x, so we're trying to figure out what goes in here. But remember, to get 48, whatever times 8 was 48. So you want to make sure this number, when you multiply by 8, is going to give you 48. Good. And then make sure you write the distribution at the bottom. Good job on number three. All right, so what goes in this box? Six. So six times x is six x, and six times eight is 48. So we write six x plus eight, six x plus 48. All right, who would like to talk us through number four? Santana? Ten goes in the box.
right, and why? So then you want to say, well, what, so we see this 35 here, well, what times 5 is 35? It's 7, so we get 5 times 7. All right, who wants to walk us through number 6? All right, Yasmin?
Yeah. 